That's right, Darla, with the big stage and all the fun rides, it's wild to think that this started as a simple Franklin cook-off back in 1985. The club was chartered in 1985. It was just a group of guys, got together, suffers every once a month, and uh, they were encouraged to start a fundraiser to try to raise money for our Lions camp. One guy walked in with a bag of cracklings and a six pack of adult beverages and they said hey let's 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 do a crackling cook-off as a fundraiser. Vasco says the small cook-off was a huge success that grew bigger every year. They started the first year in 1985 they had it at the boat launch in Fort Barry and it was so great that they had to move it the next year onto the street in Saison where the cemetery actually currently is today. Once it got too big for the street now, the city allowed the Lions Club to use the park and then it's been here ever since. With this year being the 36th annual Crackland Festival, Vasco says looking back at how it all started still amazes him. And to think that this, this big 36 years strong to start from in the back of a gas station at a supper thinking, hey, let's have a crackling cook-off. That, to me, that's crazy. And you know, Vasco says his dad was a pretty important piece of the puzzle in building the Crackling Festival, and he looks forward to carrying on his father's legacy. In Fort Barry, I'm